experience. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Today is Tuesday, November 1st. Today is Tuesday, November 1st. It is World Vegan Day and the beginning of No Shave November. Watch as many of our men are participating this month to raise money and awareness for men's health issues. Today is also a silent reading day. Today's lunch menu is chicken quesadilla, nachos with meat and cheese, ham turkey and cheese chef salad, chicken salad sandwich, broccoli with cheese, refried beans, and sweet potatoes. And then a cricket's player's artificial leg fell off during a tournament final in Dubai, but he continued to play. In the middle of the game, as he dove for the ball, his prosthetic leg became loose and flew off. He carried on despite his incident and said the intense heat in Dubai that day may have caused his artificial leg to loosen. The player named Liam Thomas says he hopes this will help more people find out about sports for people with disabilities. Now to Demi with the sports and weather update. Good morning, Bruins. I'm Demi, and I'm here to bring you the sports and weather update. Today's weather will be a high of 78 and a low of 40. Tonight, the Cubs and Indians play game six. If the Cubs win, there will be a tie 3-3, but if the Indians win tonight, they win the whole series. Last night, the Chicago Bulls played the Brooklyn Nets. Bulls won 118-88. The Sacramento Kings also played last night against the Atlanta Hawks. The Hawks won 106-95. Now I'm back to our anchor. Thank you, Demi. This Thursday, 8th graders will be visiting LC for periods 1 through 3 to learn about what our high school has, offer, has to offer. 6th graders from our elementaries will be visiting Belzer during that time as well. Tomorrow, the academic pursuit teams are meeting and they are still looking for more students to participate. Join the team in Mr. Schultz's room, B113, after school to test your knowledge in a fun game atmosphere. There will be another fundraiser tomorrow. The day many of you have been asking for, it is Chick-fil-A Day. Their sandwiches will be sold at lunches on the 2nd for $3.50. Proceeds go to our United Way campaign. The book fair is coming to Belzer next week during the school day. Wednesday and Thursday mornings will be a time to preview and purchase items with a parent or grandparent. More details will be coming later this week. LC's drama department is presenting their fall play this Thursday through Saturday at 7 p.m. each night. The play is titled The Lady of the House. Tickets are $6 in advance or $8 at the door. Ms. Stewart will host a meeting on this Thursday at 7.30 p.m. in the LGI room for any French students interested in a trip to Paris, Normandy, and London. If you are interested, please plan on attending with an adult. Here's today's interesting fact. If you stretch out an average slinky until it's flat, it would measure 87 feet long. Today's celebrity birthday is Hudson Yang, who turns 13 today. He's a child actor and star of ABC's comedy TV show, Fresh Off the Boat. On this day in history, in 1765, British Parliament passes the Stamp Act that taxed paper goods in the colonies. Our quote of the day is from Margaret Med, who once said, Always remember that you are absolutely unique, just like everyone else. Now to Mr. Harsha with the rest of your morning announcements. Remember, the Belzer blog is online for you to view. Have a great day, Bruin. Good morning, Bruins. Two quick announcements before you get a chance to start reading uh, your Belzer blog or whatever it is you're going to do for your uh, silent reading today. Um, number one, I wanted to let everybody know that on your student launch page, we have added a link where students can sign up to do a book talk. We would like to start raising some awareness of what you're reading out especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So students, if you would like uh, to take an opportunity to get on BTV, um, we would have some crew members come out and record you doing a book talk. And there's kind of a format laid out there on the link. If you'd like to do that, I will be offering some incentives to students, um, spirit wear, candy, books, uh, some other incentives to get some more of you to do that. But I'd love to see some students sign up to get uh, recorded and share about a book that you're reading that you really like with some of your peers. Second thing is box tops. Uh, the big box top collection ended last Thursday, but I wanted to remind students we collect these box tops all year long. The bookstore that's open on Mondays and Fridays, um, you can actually use money to buy things from the bookstore, or you can use these box tops, and we'll continue to have box top drives throughout the year to um, raise money for our PFO, and of, of course, guys, that money comes right back to you. 
So just wanted to give that reminder about box tops. And again, if you're interested, sign up to do a book talk on the student launch page link. I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Landers for a quick announcement before you get to your silent reading. Good morning, Belgium Middle School. This is Mr. Landers here reminding you about the bullying blog contest. You still have until this Friday to get your submission in, so make sure you do that because next week we're going to be announcing the winners and giving out lots of prizes. Now, some students have asked, how do I get to this, this blog contest? If you go to your college prep class, under the link assignments, you'll see a, a link that says blog contest. Just click on it, write a quick submission, and get that turned in so you have a chance to win. Like I said, we're going to give away a lot of good stuff, so you still have a, an opportunity to turn something in, so you have until Friday. That's this Friday. All right, Belzer, do something great today.